Hey, everybody, this is BAMWX.com meteorologist Brett Waltz here. We're keeping an eye on the potential for a damaging cluster of storms to develop across eastern Iowa into northern Illinois, into northern Indiana, perhaps parts of southern Wisconsin as well as we work into the evening hours today. It is just before 1.30 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, July 15th. And again, keeping an eye on this threat as we work into tonight. Damaging winds, large hail, tornadoes all on the table as this cluster develops as we work into this evening. Wanted to start out by giving you all a look at what the current atmospheric conditions are are developing into, uh, and I wanted to start out with temperatures uh, because a lot of times these storm clusters like to follow the gradient. They follow the gradient in temperatures, and so clicking around up here, this is our Clarity Weather Platform that you can subscribe to if you scan the QR code there. 77 degrees across southern parts of Minnesota, low 80s across southern parts of Wisconsin. You go just to the south, less than a state to the south, and it's into the low 90s uh, across parts of southern Iowa and into western parts of Illinois. And so where the storm cluster is going to want to develop is kind of near Basin City, Waterloo, and then diving southeast towards Cedar Rapids, Davenport, Rockford, and eventually the Chicago metro area. We take a look at what our instability is going to look like. Instability is just simply a measure of how much and how violently air can rise as storms develop as we work into this afternoon and into this evening. The higher the value, uh, the more capability these storms are going to have to sustain themselves and to be strong to severe in nature. Uh, the instability is kind of a measure of how fast are temperatures throughout the atmosphere changing with height. The faster they change, the more unstable the atmosphere is. How much moisture and heat and humidity is in the atmosphere. All of these things go into what the instability looks like. And I would say right now, based off some of our latest model guidance and observations that we're seeing, the instability in the atmosphere across Iowa, across central Illinois, uh, is extreme in nature. There's an extreme amount of instability and these storm clusters like to find that instability. And so once again, kind of along that gradient across northern parts of Iowa here and into northern Illinois, that's where the storm cluster is going to want to dive. It's going to have an ample amount of unstable air to tap into to lead to strong to severe storms later this evening into tonight. Right now, those storms haven't fired off yet. I think it's key to kind of watch where exactly these fire off to get the best handle on the track. Uh, again, I'd be watching here Mason City, Waterloo for some storms to maybe try to develop, maybe in as far south as north of Des Moines as we work into this afternoon. If we take a look at the latest simulated radar, this is as we work towards about uh, 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern time. You can see some initial development possible here between Mason City and Waterloo as we work towards about 4 p.m. Central. As we continue need to go through here, storms will amplify and expand. 6.30, 7 o'clock central time. By this point, by 7, 7.30 central time, there's a severe cluster of storms that's diving through eastern Iowa and into northern Illinois. Areas like Madison, Janesville, Rockford, all of these areas kind of right in the bullseye for this threat. And then we're looking at the Chicago metro area and Davenport closer to about 8.30 or 9 o'clock this evening. And then watch how this cluster continues to dive further down to the south and to the east, all the way into central parts of Indiana. Eventually, it will likely weaken. This cluster does likely weaken as it reaches the I-70 corridor, but still some stronger storms through central Illinois, central Indiana, uh, eventually into southern parts of Indiana possible as we work into the pre-dawn hours tomorrow morning. The big threat with this is going to be wind, and it's the threat that I am most concerned about. Uh, sometimes into the summertime, we get these storm clusters that can produce 70, 80, 90 mile an hour winds and produce notable damage. We've seen multiple situations of that over the past several years uh, with derechos that have moved through this exact region. It's very common for these clusters to move through the area that is, is, it's expected to move through as we work into this evening and into tonight. Now, I'm not sure if it'll qualify as a derecho or not. It has to move for 400 miles with damaging winds but it might be close. We take a look here. This is our three-hour max wind gust. As these storms initially ramp up here across eastern parts of Iowa, you can see model data here trying to depict 70-plus mile-per-hour wind gust. Maybe a little bit excessive in some spots, but I think what it's doing is showing the potential. And anywhere that I would say that you see these orange colors on the map, it's going to indicate severe level wind gust. 
where you start getting into these brown colors, that's where you're getting 70 plus mile per hour wind gusts. And you can really see the track of where this is possible. Uh, you've got areas, again, just south of Rockford, the Chicago metro area, uh, kind of right in the core of this threat. As it moves further down to the south and to the east, it spreads out a little bit more, maybe weakens a bit, but still some severe level wind gusts across the northern half of Indiana and into central Illinois. And then it'll weaken a little bit as it pushes further down to the south and to the east, but still 40, 50, locally 60 mile per hour wind gusts across central Indiana and into western Ohio on the table. In terms of hail, uh, I think the biggest hail threat likely going to be here across parts of eastern Iowa, southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois. Would not be shocked to see one to two inch diameter hail as these storms initially intensify as we go into this evening. In terms of our threat map here, guys, uh, this is the area that we are keeping the closest eye on. The orange area, if I zoom out here, the orange area has the potential for wind gusts of 65 plus miles per hour, large hail, and a few tornadoes. The red area, that's where severe weather is very, very likely. Greatest risk for wind gusts of 65 to 75 miles per hour, and in some cases it could exceed that. We could see wind gusts of 80 miles per hour in that red area. That is not out of the question. That's going to include a lot of corn in those areas, a lot of the growing regions here, but also major metro areas like Davenport and, of course, the Chicago metro area. If you're in the yellow area, as these clusters move further down to the south, it's where the threat becomes a little bit more isolated. The wind threat lowers a little bit, but still 50 to locally 70 miles per hour, not out of the question. And the tornado and the hail threat is isolated. I also think the highest threat for a few tornadoes will be in this red area that you can see. Uh, so, guys, that is the latest. Again, this is 1.30 p.m., Eastern time right now is when we have updated this on July 15th. We'll be keeping an eye on things as we go throughout the afternoon and the evening for this potential impactful cluster of storms.